Why does ancient Jewish history still echo in the corners of our modern world? Why do scholars pore over dusty texts, dissecting lines written thousands of years ago? The answer lies in the works of a man named Flavius Josephus, a Jewish historian whose writings throw open the shutters on a world long past, yet still relevant today. Josephus, born Yosef ben Matityahu in 37 CE, was a product of his tumultuous times. His roots were embedded in the aristocratic soil of Jerusalem, a city that bore the imprints of his priestly father, Matityahu, and his mother, a descendant of the Hasmonean royal family. An education steeped in Jewish law, scripture, and history, along with fluency in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek, laid the foundation for Josephus's future role as a historian and military leader. The Jewish-Roman War of 66 to 73 CE was a crucible that tested Josephus's loyalties. Initially, he wielded his sword against the Romans as a military commander in Galilee. Yet in 67 CE, upon his capture, his allegiances shifted. Choosing the Roman cause over his own people was a decision that has sparked endless debate among historians. The Romans, however, found value in Josephus. His knowledge of Jewish customs and language proved useful to the Roman general Vespasian and his son Titus, and Josephus served as their mediator and interpreter. His accurate prediction of Vespasian's ascension to emperorship earned him Roman citizenship and a new name, Flavius, an homage to the Flavian dynasty. Despite his alignment with Rome, Josephus's Jewish heritage remained a vibrant thread in his writings. His magnum opus, Antiquities of the Jews, is a sprawling chronicle of Jewish history from biblical times to his own era. Even as he navigated the corridors of Roman power, Josephus sought to explain and defend Jewish traditions and beliefs to a wider, predominantly Greco-Roman audience. It is this dichotomy, the Jewish historian serving the Roman Empire, that makes Josephus a figure of intrigue and his works a treasure trove for scholars. His accounts provide vital insights into the historical and cultural landscape of first-century Judaism. Yet, Josephus is not without controversy. His decision to side with the Romans has raised questions about potential biases in his narratives. Despite these reservations, his works continue to be invaluable resources for understanding ancient Jewish history and the complex relationship between the Jewish people and the Roman Empire. As we delve into the annals of history, we find that the past is not a distant, disconnected entity. It is a living, breathing part of our present, and the writings of Flavius Josephus remind us of this truth. His life and works are not just a window into a bygone era, but also a mirror reflecting our own world, highlighting the enduring relevance of ancient Jewish history.